yet. Uh, so what we're going to do now is wrap up the conference, and then we're all going to go out and party. So goodbye from OBTS v6.0. Uh, I hope all of you have had a, an incredible time. I know I have. Uh, again, the conference is brought to you by the Objective-C Foundation, but we are so much more than just the conference. Uh, as I mentioned, we raise money for college scholarships, we have the diversity programs, we fund the free open source tools I write, the books I write, all the good things. So I have to briefly mention, if you uh, love what you do and you want to support it, uh, this would always be great. If you're an individual, we're on Patreon, that's super helpful. We also have the Friends of Objective C program, which is how companies can uh, provide financial support to us to allow us to expand the conference, to increase our student scholarships, and do all the amazing things. And I'm reaching out and mentioning this to you because, well, let me give you an example. Uh, the student scholarship program we had, we had three students last year. And I said, look, we want to expand this, right? Students are the future. We have this great conference, trainings, amazing attendees here. I want to bring more students here. But that's expensive because we need to cover their flights, their hotels, pay for their trainings, right? We were all poor college student students once. So I know Google had a great student scholarship program, but if I reached out to Google proper, they probably aren't going to talk to me. But we had an attendee here who said, you know, I work at Google, and I love what you do. I'm going to go chat with them. And she reached out and worked super hard and essentially convinced Google to fund us. And the dividends from that are huge because we tripled the number of students we had. So it works really well for us that if you love what we do and you work at a company that perhaps has a budget to fund nonprofits, student diversity programs, you know, just put in the good word. If you have any questions about this, chat with me. But again, that was a great success story, largely thanks to an attendee of the conference. Now, just, just to wrap up, also, uh, you know, uh, if you're interested in buying swag, some important links, just go to objectivec.org. We also have a link to our YouTube channel. We'll, uh, we'll post all the recordings and slides uh, in a few days, so keep an eye on that. Now, some announcements, which are exciting. So let's start with the least exciting one. <laughs> uh, I've been working hard on a new book. This is volume two of The Art of Mac Malware. And volume two covers detection. So volume one was all about analyzing malware. Volume two is how do you programmatically detect it in the first place. So the talk Chris and I did yesterday about background task management and writing tools to detect persistent malware, think about a whole book on that. So I'm mentioning this because I've been hard at work at it's coming along, and so stay tuned because in the near future it will be available. And just like the first copy, No Starts Press, awesome, awesome publisher, has agreed to allow me to publish it 100% free online. And also then any royalties from this book will go back to the foundation. So super stoked on that. I just have to wrap it up. Now, we talked briefly about Objective We. So last year we launched Objective We, which is our diversity focused within the organization. And we committed to spending $100,000 towards various diversity and student-focused efforts. We've been making great progress, and it's, so far we have spent $49,794, so almost halfway there. You can learn more about the program and the efforts we're supporting by going to the link there. However, one of our goals was to expand the Objective-C program. So I'm really excited to announce the new initiative, which is we are calling for now Objective for the We. And the idea for it was basically to create smaller OBTS events that are localized and more focused on students. So we love OBTS. OBTS is not going anywhere. Don't worry. But if you think about it, it's kind of like a week-long committing commitment, especially if you're coming to the trainings and the talk. A lot of students or even individuals might not be able to take off a full week. Also, we always do it in exotic, perhaps the most, uh, not the cheapest location, which is amazing, but that does for some people put it out of their price range. And then finally, the talks at this conference are very technical, which we love and which is amazing, and that's not going to change. But you can imagine for perhaps students or people trying to break into this industry, that might be a little over their head. So our goal is to create smaller events that are maybe one or two days. The first day will be free trainings for students, you know, and be, again, uh, trainings that are more geared toward students or people new to this. So for example, Patrick might do an introduction to Mac malware analysis to get people inspired or along this path. 
The next day then, we aim to do talks that will have technical content, but also perhaps panels, uh, how-tos, introductions to other things that, again, are specifically related to students. And finally, we'll do this in uh, cities uh, you know, around the world, around the country, uh, usually in conjunction with our supporters. And the idea, again, is that you know, if it's a city uh, with a university, the students will be able to come easily. They don't have to fly halfway around the world. So stay tuned for this. I'm probably going to be bugging you, uh, some of you to be involved, or for some of you to attend. But I'm really excited uh, for us to engage more in this diversity effort. And then finally, or secondly, I'm also stoked to announce, it's clipped off, OBTS v7.0. I promise you this conference is not going away. And for the next version, we will be back in Hawaii. Many of you said, when are you going back to Hawaii? The answer is next year. So stay tuned immediately after this conference, after I've taken off like a week or so, uh, we are going to start talking to the hotels and figure out the best location and dates. Uh, but it will be in Hawaii, and we are aiming for fall 2024. So I hope to see many of you there. I know it's a long trek, but I promise coming to Hawaii is worth it. Woo! I do want to take a moment to thank several individuals who have contributed a lot to this uh, event and the conference in general. Uh, Arno, my good friend, uh, was a, a guest speaker at my training. Super appreciate him and everything he does for the community. Uh, a really good friend. Uh, Maria similarly came and uh, talked at my training, uh, blew my students' minds, <laughs> and was also here signing the book. So I appreciate her uh, involvement in the conference. Uh, Christine, who runs the Her Hacks podcast, did uh, a bunch of live podcasts here, interviewed Andy and I, let us talk about the conference, so thanks to her as well. Then, of course, the trainers, uh, Jaren, Yitzka, Fabian, and also Alex, who helped out as well. You know, the trainings are such a great part of the conference because, you know, we can bring a lot of students to the tra trainings and also many other uh, attendees as well. And then finally, some of the OGs. These are the individuals who have been to every single OBTS. So I always like to take a moment to thank them. Jaron, Mike, Sarah, Sam, Erica, and Tracy. At this point, like if I didn't see you at a conference, I would, I would cry. <laughs> I would be sad because you know, it wouldn't feel like an OBTS without you here. So I appreciate the effort and your, your loyalty to us. Also want to thank all the first time attendees. You know, we're always trying to grow this community. So all of you who are here for the first time, Thank you so much. I need a clicker, right? I also want to thank just all of you. Uh, you know, uh, your support. As I mentioned, we don't have a we don't have a marketing department. We don't have a social media pro, uh, department. So it's really your word of mouth that allows us to continue the conference, grow the conference, get more supporters, um, and bring more students uh, to this event. Also, thanks to you, uh, your ticket sales. I want you to know are going to very good causes. So 100% of ticket sales either go to our amazing speakers as honorariums, and the remainder then goes to our student scholarship programs that with conjunction Google allow us to bring ever more students to this uh, event. Speaking of, of, of speakers, uh, just also wanna take a moment because you know, without our amazing speakers, again, probably none of us would show up. So let's give a round of applause to the speakers. You know, as a speaker myself, I know like the long hours that go into researching the topics, uh, submitting to the CFP committee, crossing your fingers to hope that you accept the talk, working on your slides, practicing, and then getting up in front of a room of people. I've done it a lot, I still get nervous. So, you know, again, really appreciate all the speakers who come here and share their amazing research. Every year the talks are great, this year they were like out of the park. So again, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Speaking of thanks, I also want to thank the companies and products that support our organization, our foundation, and make this conference a reality. I'm sure this is not surprising to you, but running a conference takes money. We have to pay the hotel to use this. Um, you know, there's lots of other costs associated. So again, without their support, we would not be able to host this conference, release free books, uh, work on our diversity efforts. So if you know anyone that works at these companies, like send them a ping, say, 
we love you. We love what you're doing. Thank you so much for supporting the organization. So again, round of applause for these amazing, amazing companies and supporters. <laughs> and finally, and Andy hates when I do this, uh, I and all of us need to thank Andy. Why? Let's count the reasons. <laughs> So first and foremost, the idea for the conference came from Andy. So without Andy's idea, none of us would be here today. So this is the first thing we have to be thankful for. The second thing we have to be thankful for is Andy is actually the one working behind the scenes, making all of this come together. Many of you said, wow, Patrick, this is such a great organized conference. And I agree, everything goes super smoothly. The venue's great, the parties are great, the schedule is amazing. This has nothing to do with me. This is all Andy. And I can't tell you how many long hours she has put into this, talking to the hotel, dealing with the contracts, um, you know, coordinating with the students, finding uh, hotel rooms, just like so much stuff. So again, round of applause uh, for Andy for helping make this. And I wasn't sure if I was going to say this, but Andy also has to put up with me all the time. So that's something that uh, shouldn't be taken for granted. So if you see her, uh, thank her for everything. You know, she's the queen of OBTS, and any of you who know, uh, who play chess know that the queen is, is the one, right? Most powerful one. <laughs> all right, so now time for prizes and gifts. So we do... Uh, uh, since we don't have a, you know, a, a social media uh, and a marketing team, we depend on you for amazing content. So I want to give out some gifts and prizes for uh, best photos, best videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So our best video, I want to give it out to Caitlin. She created this awesome video. She probably, uh, you probably met her at the party yesterday when she was around taking uh, photos. So Caitlin, are you here? Yes. Okay. Come say hi to Andy. <laughs> I really love this video, not because it's like neat, but to me it like shows what the conference is about. It's like our attendees, it's you. So again, thank you so much. Uh, really uh, appreciate that. Okay, now we have best photos. This is great, I'm a photographer, Andy's a photographer. So we love seeing the photos that our attendees uh, create. So our three favorite photos, we have OBTS is a mood from Fede. We have Objected by the Sea, ha, huh, it really is, by Chris. And then another picture by David, which is just super artsy. I love the sticker in the mountains in the background. So if any of you are here, come see Andy. She has a gift for you. Round of applause for some cool looking photos. <laughs> and I love the multi-talent. Like Chris, incredible security researcher, also a great photographer. Dope. Now we also had some like funny photos that I thought also should win prizes. So I love this first one because as a photographer myself, we're often in like strange compromising positions and people will walk by and be like, what are you doing? And we're like, we're getting the shot. So uh, if your handle is Pavornak, please come to Andy. She has a gift, a present for you. And then also I love this one from Pony Fan, which is here there will be dragons. Uh, you know, took the OBTS sticker and like slapped it on top of, uh, well, a pink dragon. So again, great photos. Love them. This might be my favorite one because the photo is great, right? It's two like lovers embracing each other and it's got like the OBTS badge on it. But Eugene really nailed this with his caption and it got chopped off a little bit. So I'm gonna read it over here and it says, approving OBTS with your manager be like, quote, please let me go to Marbella where the world's top cybersecurity people are going to be. I beg you. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah. So I know many of you literally went through this, right? Corporate budgets this year are a little tighter. So I know many of you had to, uh, you know, beg for, you know, your manager to let you come here. And so I love that this, uh, this image captures the, the struggle, which is real. 
We also wanted to give an award to Alex for best speaker supporter. So I don't know if you saw when Christine was here. She was here with like a banner supporting her, and I just love that. Um, and so round of applause for Alex. Come to a a Andy for a small gift. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I didn't get a, I didn't get a banner, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> okay, so now, onwards with prizes. Uh, we have some OBTS influencers. So if your Twitter handle or your handle is on this list, please come see Andy. These individuals were awesome. You know, I'm trying to manage the schedule, make sure speakers are um, ready when they are, finishing my own slides. I don't have time to tweet, post things on social media. Uh, these individuals, though, tweeted live, posted on LinkedIn, Instagram, allowing us basically to uh, delegate out uh, social media um, you know, jobs to them. So again, if these are any of your, your handles, come see Andy, she has a prize from you. Now before we do the raffle where we give out some cool prizes, uh, each year we try to give out a prize to someone who has come from the furthest away. And I put the icon of Saturn, I'm assuming we don't have any people from Saturn here, but if you are from a far away place, uh, raise your hand and we'll try to figure out who is the furthest. So I know there's some people here from uh, Japan, maybe Asia. Who's from a far away place? And don't be shy. Australia. How long did your flight take to get here? Wow, okay. You might be the winner. Anybody else can compete with Australia? Dave, I think it's you. Please see Andy, a prize for you. <laughs> raffle time. So to do the raffle, we are going to call a number. Your number is on your badge. I will ask for verification, so no trying to spoof this. Now to generate a random number, I'm gonna use chat GPT. Jet, chat GPT. <laughs> What could go wrong? And let me check with Andy to see what we are raffling off first. So we're gonna start with a pair of AirPod Pros. So, chat GPG, if you know how to chat, hat, hack chat GPG, do it quickly. Okay, so. I first asked it to see what it thought about OBTS. Okay, it's a popular Mac OS security conference. Okay, now here's a random number, 137. In the back, Josh, amazing. You have to come on stage to grab it. <laughs> Wait, you have two badges, what's up with this? <laughs> no, no. No. Not even one or any number. Congrats, man. <laughs> Camera. Uh, uh. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats, Josh. Next up, we have. Yeah, let's do the other one first. Okay, we'll do this. We have an Apple Watch. Ooh, nice. Can I win? <laughs> yes. Okay. Back to chat GPG. If it gives us 137 again, I'm going to say please. 82. Anyone have number 82? Going once, going twice. Okay. Again. 199. Yes. Wow. Congrats, man. Thank you. Man. Smile for the camera. <laughs> awesome. Congrats, Thank man. You. Enjoy. And finally, we have, oh wow, <laughs> great gifts. Uh, AirPod Maxes, the very expensive uh, headphones. Okay, actually the raffle is done, we're, we're good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, chat GPG. 56. Going once, going twice. All right, well, someone's missing out. Again, again, again. 
163. Wow, congrats. <laughs> oh, by the banner? We gotta do the photo op in front of the banner. Of course. Congrats, man. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome. Who doesn't love raffles? Okay, onwards. Okay, we have more gifts. These are gifts for, well, giving thanks. So first, Erica, could you please come to the stage if you are here? Erica, Erica, Erica. There she is. So Erica organized the CTF. This was the first CTF ever. Erica both pitched the idea and did all the work, plus Sarah. <laughs> so Erica, thank you so much. Who went to the CT CTF and had a blast? Amazing. So, Erica, many. so not only has Erica been to all of the conferences, she also, again, took on all the work uh, with Sarah to organize uh, the CTF. So wanted to show our thanks to that. Now, I mentioned we're stoked on our students. We love having them here. So if you are um, one of the students that got the scholarship, I need you to come to the front because we have some treats and gifts for you. Don't be shy. Come on, I see you. <laughs> ah, okay. Can you help hand these out? Okay, so we have AirPod Pros for all of you. Because we love our students, and we know how noisy colleges can be. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, Clara. Thank you. Thank you. This is good. We're also giving you some, like, stage time, so when you come talk at the conference in a few years. Okay, awesome. Let me sneak in here, too. <laughs> All right, thank you. Enjoy. Again, round of applause for... The future of OBTS. All right, so the good news is we're not quite done with the conference. We have two things. First, we're going to do a group photo. And for that, you're going to follow Sergio, our photographer. And then immediately after that, we have our exit event, uh, which will be right next to the photography also the Veranda Gardens. This is uh, a way for us to just say goodbye. We have some, uh, some, some small food, some drinks. Just a way to mingle. Um, you know, bring your books if maybe you want to get them signed. Hang out. Say goodbye, everyone, because I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. So I will see you at the party. So one final round of applause for the speakers, the students, the attendees, Andy, everyone. And then we're going to party. And see you all next year at OBTS 7. <laughs>